Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, we're waking up early in the morning and we're flying high above the mothball fleet. That's right, the mothball fleet in Benicia, California. Or should I say, what's left of it? There used to be a lot of more ships out here that we used to have in war times, but we've been scrapping them down for scrap metal and, of course, sending all the scrap metal over to China. So I thought I would get out early one morning and film this. I apologize it's a little dark but I did want to see the sun come up and this was the only time that I was out there with my drone. You see I had the day off on a weekday so I had to go out to my shop and get some material so I thought I would get up and fly over the mothball fleet. These are ghost ships because nobody's on them. Except for once in a while, some workers will go out there and with their cutting torches and start cutting away at these ships. Like I said, they're all becoming scrap metal. And if you look on Google Maps, well, they're not that many of them left anymore. I think I counted five or six that basically flew over four. So you can see this ship in the center of your screen. Well, they've already cut all the big masses. I guess that's what you call them, the mass. I'm not a ship person, but they did cut all the big stuff down. So that used to be a ship that was at war but now with metal metal is so valuable they just scrap it out so it's sad to see that the ships are turned into scrap but that's life isn't it I guess they'll be turned into something else but a beautiful sunset sunset excuse me sunrise there's Mount Diablo the Devil Mountain way in the distance one of the tallest peaks in all of the Bay Area but to me it looks like that ship almost could be a cargo ship so is that part of the ghost ships and the mothball fleet well I think it is because it's been out there a long time so don't quote me on anything but I know for a fact that these three right here in the center of your screen well that's what's left of the mothball fleet they call them mothball because that's basically what they're doing is collecting moths and they tie them up together and anchor them, anchor them right here in Benicia, California. So there is a good look at tons and tons of scrap metal that will be torn down. It's sad to say that these ships can't be used anymore. You think we could redevelop them into floating homes or homes for the homeless I don't know but they're getting torched up as we speak maybe nobody wants the liability you know we live in a litigious society where everybody sues people nowadays it's funny how no one wants to work anymore if you watch the TV commercials it's either prescription drugs or lawyers wanting to sue other people but back to the task at hand here is the mothball fleet and what's left of it 
So you can see two ships at the top of your screen and three ships down here. So that's a total of five. Plus that cargo ship. But believe it or not, there is a crew out there working, chopping these down as we speak. Or maybe they're not. I don't really see too much activity out here with torches and smoke coming off of it. I do see some birds down there so I'm sure that's a good place to raise a bird family. Nobody's gonna bother you there. But isn't that amazing to see that those old ships were once out at war with other countries and now our country's at war with itself. That's right, it seems like everybody hates America, even Americans. I don't know what happened to our country and the patriots and the people who love this country are considered bad, but there you go, the sunrise over here at the Who's honking? I'm trying to make a video here. That's what happens when you're doing live broadcast. And now you got alarms going off and all sorts of things going on right at the same time. But isn't that a beautiful sunrise in the San Francisco Bay at the mouth of the Delta where the fresh water meets the salt water so look at that there is some kind of fisher boat out there it looks like a could be a home I don't know but I couldn't resist flying out here and seeing the wetlands and the birds and seeing just how much of this land is still available there's the old 680 freeway headed to Fairfield California but look at all that marshy land for those birds they must really be in heaven out here I always wonder if when we die if we're reincarnated as a bird or another species we will never know until it's over. Yeah, well, that is a good look at what's out here in the middle of Benicia, California. A lot of oil refineries and industrial plants. That little parking lot down there is the staging area for some kind of operation where they go out and work on these mothball ships and there's a guard there too so I tried to drive down there but no one would let me park there because it's highly secured so maybe there's something else going on out there but I am amazed on how much land is still available when we are so overcrowded in this world I just like to show you one last look of this industrial area of Benicia, California. I think I'll come out here when the sun is up. This was my first time flying this far out with this drone, the Mavic Pro. So it's an old drone, but it did a great job and I had plenty of battery left. so. I'll have to come back out here again. Like I said, I had the day off, so. If my boss is watching, I wasn't doing this on a work day. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Mothball Fleet Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.